On one of my last days in Mexico, I took a day trip to visit a historic mining village on the outskirts of San Luis Potosí, the town of Cerro de San Pedro. Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today I took a little day trip away from San Luis Potosí. I am in the town of Cerro de San Pedro. This is a small historic mining town nestled in the hills a little bit to the east and north of the city. I am going to be spending the day here exploring and showing you guys all around. Founded in 1592 as a Spanish colonial mining settlement in search of gold and silver, the village, colloquially known as a Pueblo Fantasma in Spanish, is home to just 97 inhabitants as of 2020. So I just made it to the center of town here in Cerro de San Pedro. It's a very small town. It's only about a handful of streets. There's two main churches here and I'm at the central plaza here in front of the main church. I gotta say, it is a very rustic town. It is considered a Pueblo Fantasma. This is like a ghost town, you can say. It's really not abandoned, but uh, it's seen its heyday many years prior when there was a lot more mining activity in the area. Although there are quite a few active mines here. Here's a little lookout point. You can see the valley. I parked my car all the way down there. Yeah, it's a, it's a small town. You can see a couple structures, a couple buildings. There's a couple abandoned buildings. Located at an elevation of 6,700 feet, the hills surrounding the village were home to several indigenous civilizations during the pre-Columbian era. You know, this kind of feels like stepping back in time. I love the way the bricks are laid out here. Since they started mining in this area, they have mined over 3 million ounces of gold and 50 million ounces of silver. Guys, that is a staggering number, and it really competes with the mines that they have in South America and Bolivia. So Cerro de San Pedro has a very important place in Mexican history. came across this huge open plaza here. There's another uh, church here. This is Templo de San Nicolas. This is the second main church here in the city. There's a hotel behind me and what seems to be a, a restaurant, but it all kind of appears deserted. I mean, it is uh, the age of COVID, so kind of presume that, you know, it's kind of quieted down here, but this is a, a local tourist spot. You know, a lot of uh, locals from all around Mexico like to come here. There are quite a few historical sign markers and they're both in English and Spanish so it's quite convenient. Uh, it is a warm day but I am enjoying the nice cloud cover here you know because we are at elevation I am uh, keeping protected from the sun because I learned my lesson last time. Aside from the occasional sounds of construction in the distance, I really enjoyed how quiet the village was during my visit. Although that isn't always the case as residents are often exposed to the deafening sounds of the mining activity in the area. Baralito, por favor. Gracias. Gotta get a beer. I always love trying local new beers. So that was a nice little cafe, but I did it once more. Walk around the town. I guess I missed the street. There's a plaza here that I had to pay about 25 pesos to get in. But you could actually see this open pit mine where the Cerro de San Pedro used to be. Like there used to be a mountain here, guys. Look at this. It's 
crazy to think that there used to be a huge mountain here. They just blew it up in search of more minerals and look how far down it goes. Okay, the viewpoint is pretty nice because you get to see the entire city over there. The hills in the distance. I'm also told that you can come here to feel the explosions for yourself, which kind of feel like an earthquake. which the village's name had disappeared from the landscape by 2013 as a result of increased mining activity in the region. Several homes are located within 30 meters of the mining site, where 25 tons of explosives are detonated every day. So I'm headed back to my car now. I gotta say, it is a really cool place to visit. If you are in San Luis Potosi for a few days and you have the means to get here, I have a rental car, so it's very easy for me, but I know that you can also take a bus to a local stop and then find a taxi from here, so it might not be as easy if you don't have a vehicle, but I would highly recommend coming here. It is pretty cool to see, to feel the history, and just to be in a different environment. San Luis is a very beautiful city, but I also love seeing what's on the outskirts of the city, you know, a little bit more of the nature, a little bit more of the uh, rustic history in these small little towns. As I was walking back to my car, I came across a closed off entrance to an old mine. Well, closed off until one of the guides showed up and let me in. Gracias. Yeah. Well, it gets pretty far in there. I'm just going over there and I'll come back, okay? All right, good. Oh, and that's why you wear a hard. That's why you wear a hard hat. So I just met some guy that works at the mine here. He told me I could come a little bit further in to take a photo. Guys, check this out. This is insane. It's very quiet in here. Look at that. Crazy. Look how dark it is. That's just, we kind of communicated in broken Spanish and English, but he basically told me that I can come inside to take a quick video. He said that the tour is about 50 minutes long. So if you come, you have a lot of opportunity to, to do like touristy things like this. You know, there's there's food options. You could go to the mine. It's really, really cool. If you guys enjoy this video, subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.